Hello everyone, welcome to Apple and iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Today we'd like to go over uh, students have been uploading photos under their Google Drive or Google account in regards of education and staff members are trying to figure out how to remove the photos that they upload as well as students are not sure as well. Uh, as me being a Google admin, I've looked and researched this information and it does not seem like uh, it is very uh, available to be removed uh, so students are unable to remove it as well as staff members but there is a way to remove it so they'll know now the thing is uh, as a Google admin we have students restricted to have search and functionality in their Google um, email accounts and so forth so functionality so uh, we have a few things that are blocked. There's something that is not generally blocked or is not an option to be blocked. So uh, I'd like to go ahead and show you. So I'm going to go to uh, a research that I've looked through and I'll try to look for these items. So here's basically how do I delete my Google Plus profile picture. Here it's basically saying you have to go into your photos section, no photos, and no photos and no pictures are uh, appearing or even under profile pictures or even under collections nothing is appearing it's possibly because that account is being restricted so to delete a photo in your recent upload photo photos for your Google Drive or your account to change the image uh, it basically would be that uh, you're trying to uh, delete something that was not there so it basically told me to visit this website picasa.google.com and when I visit that website even though what I blocked under the Google side uh, you can still go in there and delete it and this is old information from 2011 so I tried it out and it actually works so I'm gonna go ahead and play this video now in a moment and you'll see all the step-by-step -step process thanks So today we're going to go over in how to delete um, uploaded recent photos into your Google Drive that your Google Drive is actually locked down for education. And so we came across this picture that is inappropriate for a student to have and either they uploaded it or someone had access to their account and uploaded this image uh, and uh, we can't get rid of it anywhere. Uh, we went through the settings and so forth. We didn't figure this out, or I didn't figure it out till uh, at least a few hours. But uh, now that you know, uh, so you know how to remove this, this is not something you can remove from Google Admin if this account is under an education account, under their domain. So you can't even remove it from there either. The only suggestion Google states is to delete the whole Google profile and the account and start over again. But we don't really want to do that. So what I found out is this. So we're going to open up here. Google Chrome is open. This is the student account. You see how there's a picture here in the middle? Okay, so whenever they log in on the top right corner, this is the image that pops up, which is fine and there's no problem with that. But when you select it and say, okay, this is the account I logged in, this picture seems appropriate and there's no problem. So when we select on change, as you can see, there's that picture. So that picture is there, and the only thing is we can only select it, but we can't delete it. There is no delete option. There's no remove option for your photos. Uh, if you log into your Google Plus account, you should be able to remove it, except students do not have access to Google Plus. Google Plus is blocked from their account. So if you if they had Google Plus, you can go in there and remove that picture or pictures. So again, these are the only things they have accessible uh, through Google uh, on our domain. You can have even select on Meet Google for their products. But again, most of these products are blocked for the students, so you can't do that. So we'll have to go back. <coughs> so you see how there's an Earth. This is a random picture. It changes from random to random. So I've looked down here in the section here, control your content, and it basically just tells you how you can download and transfer your content. But it does not give you the option to uh, physically remove that picture. 
So what I've done and found through research is besides going through here, there's no release solution here. It's not on your Google Drive. It's in a whole different directory. You don't have access to Google+. What you will need to do is open a browser or work with the existing browser and you want to log into Picasa. So you want to go to picasaweb.google.com. As long as you're logged into the account, it will auto log you into your photos account. Uh, if you do not are not logged into it, uh, you can just have to sign back into that student account. So once you hit enter, it pulls it up. So this is your album ar archive. And here there are kept all the photos that have been shared or stored on Google products like Picasa, Google Plus, and Blogger. Since Google Plus is blocked or restricted for students, this is why we cannot see it. Uh, also, Blogger is blocked as well, so that can't be seen. Picasa, um, we have that blocked, but it's going through a web site, so it's technically, if the students know about Picasa, then they can just type in the URL. If they don't, then uh, you basically would have to do that for them, which is great. So we're in here. These are the pictures, and you see this is the Earth picture that we just saw a moment ago here. Uh, at the main page here, let's, uh, let's try to get back to the main page if we can. There it is. So there's that, and there's this image. So I'm going to go in and remove that inappropriate image. So you can either, one, hit the three dots right up here with more options, go through your settings, and see what other settings you want to restrict or allow for the student specifically. But they're welcome to go in there and change it because it's under their account. Uh, you can go ahead to profile photos. Here it says 34 items. You want to select in the 34 items, and there's the image. There's that image. What other image can we find in here? There's this one here, and the third row, last picture. And then, let's see, that's pretty much it. So, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to delete all these photos, but to do the easiest one, we want to get rid of this. So, you would want to select it, highlight it. Once it's selected, you want to go to more options on the top right. You don't want to download it. You would want to delete it. So you want to select delete photo. And then that tells you delete is permanent and can't be undone. This photo will be removed from your Google Photo Library, your Google Drive, your Google Plus Post, and Blogger. Right now, Blogger, Google Plus Post are blocked. These two are blocked. And also your Google Photos Library is blocked as well. The only thing students have access to is Google Drive. I checked the student's Google Drive. This picture does not exist in the drive, but these are if, if in case they're listed in any of these categories or directories uh, that was saved in or so. So we're going to go ahead and select on Delete. And give it a second. It will delete once we go over here to the top left and select Refresh. Now that picture does not exist. Now you would want to go back to their Google account, which is over here. Select on change on the top right for the profile. Select change here. And then when you select on your photos, that picture should not appear under the profile photos, which now we have 33 and originally we had 34. Select that and that image is gone. Now there is a way to technically block students from uploading and changing these photos in your Google admin account uh, that can be done though we give the flexibility for students to upload pictures and have fun with it um, last year we didn't allow any of this uh, but this year we've been running into more issues of this and it looks like this he took a picture of a broken screen wallpaper hmm I wonder if that's well from the text of how that's listed broken hyphen screen hyphen wallpaper then that means he must have grabbed it from the internet. Um, so it wasn't really a taken picture because it's kind of too perfect of a square. But yeah, that's basically how to do it. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this one now. And we're going to get out of here. We're going to go to the Picasa again, just to see how it is from scratch. So we go to Picasa. This is your album archi archive. Hit got it. Select on the picture, profile picture, and then you can scroll down look for that picture somewhere or did I I don't think I deleted it well it's not here 
So it looks like it's been deleted already. Let's see if there's a way. Download album. Nope. So it looks like the only option is if you wanted to delete a photo, you're going to have to do them one by one, which is a bit of annoying, but that would seem like to be the case. So let's just delete these earth ones just to make sure we're on the same page here. And this, I am doing this under a student account. As you can see, it's fourth grade. I am doing it under the student email account that's logged in as them. So um, we're going to refresh. Those should be gone. Still don't see the other one that's in here. We're going to select on change. It's there. Oh, it refreshed automatically and it removed it. That's still there, but it's not in your photos. So what we're going to do, lastly, oh, there's going to be a lot of photos here. So basically that concludes us on how to remove a profile photo from a student's Google profile or either a non-student and just say a regular Google account. If you have Google+, Plus, you can be able to do it there. If you did not have Google+, Plus, then you can just easily go to the picassaweb.google.com, which will also be listed in the description down below. Feel free to put in your comments of any future additional videos that you would like to learn and figuring out how to do and remove. Uh, greatly appreciate your subscription, as well as selecting that notification bell right next to subscribe and selecting the like button. Thank you for watching iOS Genius on the YouTube channel.